I'm plus two. Max special attack. This Amoonga should be deleted. No questions asked. So here comes the Boom Burst from Arcomo. Doesn't affect my Sinistra. How much damage are we doing to this Amoonga? That's all I care about. We get the double KO, baby. Let's go. Screw your clear smog. That was scary. What's going on, guys? Cisco here. Back with some more VGC dub battles. And today, it's all about Boom Bursting Como O. But first, shout out to Zashi for the suggestion. I appreciate the idea, and it was a really, really cool one. Now, it's all about Como O and having this thing do crazy damage. So the set we're running here today is going to be the Clangorous Soul plus the Throat Spray. Now, Clangorous Soul will give us a plus one to all of our stats and activate the Throat Spray, giving us another plus one in the special attack while taking a third of our HP. So after one Clangorous Soul, this thing will be able to do some crazy damage with Clanging Scales and with Boom Burst. Now, Boom Burst here, it hit everyone on the field. So we've paired up um, Como with a couple Pokemon that can actually stand next to Como and enable it to go for those Boom Bursts with no risk. Um, so we've got the Sinistra with Rage Powder and Hospitality to heal up our Como whenever Sinistra switches in. And with the Ghost Typing, it will be immune to those Boom Bursts. Um, we've got Telepathy Oranguru with Instruct, because why not Boom Burst twice in one turn? And Oranguru is also here to stop Trick Room teams, just in case they want to go for Trick Room, we can just imprison and stop them from getting Trick Room up. But in this case, if they do get a Trick Room, we do still have the Instruct on Oranguru, like I said, and we have After You on the Clefairy, which will enable us to go for um, those Boom Burst or Clanging, uh, clanging Scales before the um, opposing side, because Oranguru and Clefairy are very, very slow. And finally, we have Dragapult, who is just another Ghost type that is going to be immune to those Boom Bursts. But this time, it's going to be an offensive pressure who can stand next to Como O and apply that pressure and not just be Como O dealing damage. Como O and Dragapult could be going for some crazy amount of damage. Dragapult with the Choice Band here has Terra Blast, Phantom Force, U Turn, and Dragon Darts. So this thing with Como O will be able to do a ton of damage and it's going to be looking very, very scary. And I forgot to mention the Clefairy, who could also redirect shots with Follow Me uh, to allow Como to set up. Clefairy is pretty standard set with the friend guard and the Eevee light. Follow me after you life through and helping hand. And finally, we have the Incineroar. And there's a purpose to Incineroar. So there's one Pokemon that Como O cannot hit. And that's going to be um, Goldengo. This moveset is resist, uh, resist Boom Burst and Clanging Scale. Well, immune to Boom Burst and resist the Clanging Scale. So Como can't really do any type of damage to um, the Goldengo. It's a slow chip with uh, Clanging Scales. So... Incineroar is going to be here to help us out with Flare Blitz and Knock Off to get rid of those Goldengos who are going to be, be a little pesky to this team. But we'll, we'll figure it out. So yeah, this is a squad all about Como O and having this thing just delete every Pokemon on the field. Except for our own, obviously. <laughs> but guys, if you find yourself enjoying this video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or if you're returning and you've not joined the content so far, come on, just hit that sub button. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. But now... Let's get rolling with this Como team. Well, Como and Dragapult team and try to get some dubs. All right, we've got a battle against JV2, and it's going to be a nice little sand team with a Murkrow who has Taunt. So that Murkrow could be very scary. And then a Goldengo again. Goldengo is just going to be everywhere, so Como is going to have to struggle a bit with that. On the other side, Dragapult could also take care of the Goldengo here with um, Phantom Force. But I do like the Incineroar with Intimidate here. A lot of these Pokemon do get affected by Intimidate. Well, two of them. Scrappy uh, Decidueye doesn't, unfortunately. But I'm thinking about just going Clefairy Como here. Or... Which one, which one of these two do I want? I think I like Sinister a little more. We'll go... Incineroar in the back, and then we'll close off with Dragapult, I think. Yeah, we'll go for that. Oranguru is going to come into these games, but I just need them not to have a Goldengo. And Incineroar just looks a lot better here. And Oranguru will also be really good into Trick Room teams that want to get set up with Trick Room. So we can imprison that stuff. And it's going to be Escadrill and this is Dewey. All right. Not bad. Uh, this is simple. I'm just gonna go for a Machigachi, try to get a burn onto the Escadrill. And we're just gonna click Protect first. Play nice and slow, see what we can get. Try to fish out for some burns. Because the burn would be huge here. So Komo is gonna Protect. 
Iron is going to come into the Sinister. And Triple Arrows into my Como O. Hopefully, no flinch comes out. Come on, Sinister. Nice. Machigacha is going to come through. Can we get some burns? That's what we're hoping for here. I don't care about the damage output. It even does pretty good onto the Escadro. But I think it looks like no burn. Oh, burn on the Sidui, baby. Let's go. That's huge. So now that thing is going to do very, very little damage. I'm going to go for a Rage Powder here. I know the Sidui will ignore the Rage Powder, but... Hmm... No, I think, yeah, I think we're safe to go for, for this here. And they're going to withdraw this into Dwight. Perfect. Beautiful. So they could be going for a spread move here, like, um... Rock Slide or Earthquake. Oh, no, it would be Rock Slide, if anything. But Rock Slide is going to be resistant onto my Como. -O. And it's just going to be EQ. That's fine. So you can do damage to your own thing. That's fine with me. Clangor Soul is going to come out here. Como -O is going to yell. Get a plus one in every attack and activate the Throat Spray. Get a plus two onto special attack now. And now we're set. We're just set. Now, the only thing that is looking pretty scary here is the fact that our HP is starting to drop a little bit low. But I'm just going to life do. Life do protect. Stick it nice and simple. Let's get some more HP back. And then we can start boom bursting. Escadro is going to protect. They're going to try to put me to sleep, but I have overcoat, so I can't even be put to sleep. Life is going to come out here. Going to give me a little bit more HP. Going to put me above half, maybe? Yes, above half. Clear smog is going to get blocked. Oh my goodness, that's huge. Okay, I need to get rid of this thing. <laughs> I need to get rid of this thing now. Um... I'm gonna go Terra Normal Boom Burst. Or I can just life do up. Which actually, yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna life do and I'm gonna Terra Normal Boom Burst. Terra Normal Boom Burst better be enough to get rid of this Amoongus. Because if we don't get rid of this Amoongus and they're able to clear smog me, I'm gonna be sad. So they're gonna swap into the Sidui here. We're gonna go for the normal tower here. Go for the boom burst. This should pick up the KO, man. This just should. It just should work. I'm plus two. Max special attack. This Amoongus should be deleted. No questions asked. So here comes the boom burst from our Como. Doesn't affect my Sinisha. How much damage are we doing to this Amoongus? That's all I care about. We get the double KO, baby. Let's go. Screw your clear smog. That was scary. The really big protect on our end right there. That was a huge protect. And we're going to life through a baby. My Como O is going to be pretty much back to almost full HP. Well, Sinister is back to full HP. And Como will probably be around 150. 153. Beautiful. Como is set for the rest of this game. All we can go for now is a clangering, uh, clanging scales. I should pick up double KOs here. Maybe T Tar. Um, I could be annoying and just go for... I could go for a swap into Incineroar here. Which... I think just kind of makes sense. We'll go into Incineroar and then... Let's rip a nice clanging scales onto the other side. So we're going to withdraw the Sinisha. Get a nice little intimidate onto both of these physical attackers. Excuse me. And that's going to be GG's. We got plus one defense. They're both minus one in attack. So, Como is going to be hard to get rid of here. They're going to go for Terra here. Probably normal Terra T-Tar here. No, it's going to be the Escadro. Into Ghost. Clever. But I switched my move, so now it's neutral damage. <laughs> Good try. Good try. Iron is going to come through onto Incineroar. Do zero damage. Clanging Scale is going to come through. Pick up K1 the Escadro. Titar actually soaked that pretty well. That's surprising. 
So that's because gonna go down. This is actually pretty good. I just realized that. So with clanging scales, our defense gets dropped by one stage. But with the incineroar, with the intimidate, it kind of negates that minus one from clanging scales if we go for it once. So that actually kind of works hand in hand. We're just gonna go for a fake out. We're gonna go for a not a boom burst. We're gonna go for another clanging scales. And this should be GG's. Battle's gonna be canceled, baby. Let's go. Como -o, just ripping into the opponent there. Alright, we got a battle against Lou. Gonna be a rain our child on team hopefully these people can let me finish a battle please because jesus i'm not going to bring incinera in here because of the rain so i'm gonna have to depend on dragapult to get rid of the old gold dangle here um do we think they set up tailwind it's actually a pretty pretty good question uh i think i like the clefairy over sinister here Sinisha can take super effective from a couple Pokemon here. So Clefairy looks pretty pretty good here. We'll go Komo, obviously. We'll go with Dragapult and we'll go with Orangaroo. If they set up Tailwind, we're gonna set up Trick Room. Be able to speed. Because Komo, my Komo has no speed investment. It's just full tank. 252 into HP. So we are probably gonna be slower than a couple of these Pokemon in, in um in Tailwind. Even under Even after a plus one from Clang's Clangor's Soul. I think. Yeah, because Como's speed isn't even that great. Space 80 speed, I think. Where's my mouse? Oh, uh, let's see. Because after after one clanger, so we'll get a plus one, but I don't think it's anything crazy that we get up. And they're gonna lead Grim and a stapler. Could go for follow me and i think i will go for follow me and i'll go for the clanger soul just get one boost going here at least hey you can protect all you want protect the screens all right that's fine or they might be going for a taunt but the taunt's gonna fail regardless yeah it's just light screen okay cool So this Arc Child is going to be a little pain in the booty to get rid of. But one Clanger's, one Clanging Scales should do decent damage to it, even after their little light screen. So what we're going to do here is actually, we're just going to go for Life Do. And I'm going to Protect. Let's just get my HP back up. Let's just play nice and safe. And then next turn, I can thrust ice into normal. And go for a helping hand clanging scales. Which should be able to rip massive amounts of damage into these two. Well, into the... Ooh, parting shot, you know. Kind of sucks. They're going to go for an electro shot, which is not going to go through because they have no rain. Oh, their plan was to go into Pelipper. So they have Pelipper in the back. All right, it's fine. We're going to go for life, dude. So they have light screen. They're going to parting shot me. It's kind of tough. Because we're going to go back to plus one only. And plus the light screen kind of makes it useless. Not unless I go for follow me. Let's go for the follow me. Follow me, clanging scales. Because the parting shot will now go into the Clefairy. Meaning that we will not. We will still be at plus two. They're going to swap out. Coming with probably Pelipper. Yep, there's a parting shot. Beautiful. Into Clefairy. I don't care if you drop that thing's attack or special attack. He ain't doing any damage. They're going to come in with... Pelipper. And they're still stuck onto the... Um, softest Cat. Oh, it's going to be into Incineroar. All right, screw it. That's fine. Intimidate's going to come out here. That's not going to do any type of thing here. We're special attacking. Thank you very much. Here comes the Clacking Scales. How much damage are we doing? That is beautiful damage. Even onto an Incineroar. Oh my goodness. Our defense will drop though. And we are outspeeding the our child on, which is actually very nice. Electro shots can do a ton of damage. Oh my goodness. Life orb. Okay, makes sense. But let's just go helping. <laughs> oh wait, fake out, fake out, fake out, fake out, fake out. Fake out. <laughs> I forgot about fake out. Let's go for what comes out first? Follow me or fake out? I keep forgetting. But let's just go for life, dude. Life to protect. 
Because the fake out should be coming into my Como here. And they might even be doubling down into it with like a body press, so. We'll just go for a protect and end some life too. Because even, even then after that, we can just go into our Oranguru. Or we can even go into Dragapult and we'll be fine. Alright, what you gonna do? Come on. We're gonna protect our Como. We should be seeing a fake out coming through here. It's the fairy. Alright, that's fine. And they're gonna Draco. Ooh. Good try. Good try. Uh, we don't really need to go for the helping hand. I mean, it's dead no matter what. <laughs> we'll go for the helping hand. And... And you know what? We'll go helping hand. We'll go for Terra Normal Boom Burst. And let's just get rid of everyone here. Terra Normal Boom Burst should do enough damage here to get rid of the Archadon. And Haircut's gonna come up. Who's Haircut? Oh, Grimstar. Oh, Grimstar's not gonna love this. Helping hand Boom Burst? I'm gonna get rid of everybody. So Clefairy's the only Pokemon. And Clefairy and Incineroar are the only two that cannot resist or be immune to the Boom Burst damage. So we're gonna get rid of everyone here. Reset the board, come in with Dragapult later then, and have Dragapult and Como just finish this game off. So here comes the Helping Hand, onto the Como, plus two Como, they're gonna protect actually. Good protect, good protect. Boom Burst is gonna get blocked there. How much damage are we doing to this Grimmsnarl? Plus two behind a light screen. Oh my goodness. Get out of here. Grimstar, good night, goodbye. <laughs> Come back tomorrow, please. And the light screen is off. Perfect timing. Uh, let's just go Dragon Ball. Let's just get this game done. Soft this guy's gonna come out. Um, they can't really go for anything here. They can't fake out my Dragon Ball. We're just gonna go for a Dragon Darts here. Choice into the Dragon Darts. And that should be GG's. This Dragon Dart should be enough damage to get rid of both of these guys. And we're just gonna go for the Boom Burst. I don't care if they fake me out. Battle's gonna be canceled, baby. Let's go. GG's. Como. Damn. All right. We've got a pretty cool looking team here. <laughs> I love it when it's just like a bunch of cool Pokemon onto a team. I think that's a fantastic thing to do as well. They have the Salamence, they have the Garchomp, Gambit, Zorark, Skeledurge, and Gengar. So two Ghost types. So we've got to be careful with the Boom Bursting here. Um. Ooh, this is actually pretty tough, to be honest. They have a couple dark types and a couple ghost types. Oh, Clefairy, Como, Rangaroo. I'm going to go Dragon Pult. I think I'm gonna go for that. Yeah, we'll go for that. Now, I don't know what the speed tier is gonna look like here. I don't know what this guy's speed is after plus one. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. 172 supposedly. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're fast. After one, after a plus one from Clanger to Soldier, 172 speed. Is that right? Jesus Christ. Are you 115 right now? Give me one second. Let me check. Is this true? You're 106. So what is this? What is this saying? Oh, I have, I have plus speed nature. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So you're actually going to be 157, which is actually pretty fast. 157 is with one, uh, one Clanger Soul. So they have double Dragon types on the other side. Um, there's no spread Dragon move that they can have. So let's go follow me. Let's go for Clanger Soul. <laughs> that should be, it's just too easy with these two. These two are literally a cheat code. Dragon Claw is not going to get affected on the Clefairy. We're a Fairy type and... Fly. Fly up, buddy. 
I respect it. Uh, we could just go for... You could just go for the follow me here. Follow me clanging scales. I don't see why not. Hopefully the fly does come into me. And I want to see here if what the speed tiers are. Homo is actually faster already. So Garchomp is going to be bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for playing. And the fly is going to go into the Clefairy. And that's going to be... It's going to be what you call GG's. Wow. Como really just broken. Wow. That's nuts. Maybe the Gambo. Supreme Overlord. Okay, let me see here. I could swap into the Oranguru here. You know what, let's just go life too, and let's hopefully let this guy die out. Hopefully they, they, they double target the, the Clefairy here. Double, double, double target the Clefairy, please. I'm gonna fly up. Retaliate. Go after the Clefairy, don't go after the Como, oh, please. We're gonna life do up. I wanna get Oranguru out here, I wanna go for a Instruct. Instruct plus uh, Boom Burst. I think that'd be fantastic. All right, screw it. Let's try to get a Rangaroo in. Actually, it doesn't really make sense. Let's go for Follow Me. Let's go for the Follow Me. Let's go for the Follow Me, Terra, Normal Boom Burst. Let's get rid of my Uncle Fairy. If they're not going to do it, I got to do it. So we're going to throw out our combo. This Boomer should do a lot of damage. Not take out my, um... It's not going to take out my Clefairy, but they should be able to help me out with that. So here comes the follow me. Boomer should be going next. Yep. Salamence is going to dodge that. How much damage are we doing onto this King Gambit? That's resisted. My goodness. Flies in to go to Clefairy. Get rid of me. And they're going to go for Retaliate. What does that do? Was I supposed to see something else happen? Was I supposed to see my health bar go a little more down or? Because that did nothing. Now, does it, how does the shark work? Um... The move last used by the target. Because I'm wondering if I protect. Do I still go for Boom Burst? Eh. I just go for this. We're going to go for another Boom Burst. Slept with the Oranguru. Not going to be affected by it. This might even take out the Gambit. It took out both of the Pokemon. Wow. Oh, wow. Como always oh, just going crazy. Zashi, you were right. This thing could just destroy everything. And we're going to boom burst a player now. We're going to boom burst one, two, three, four, five, six people that are in the stands. My goodness, this is disgusting. This thing could just do an insane amount of damage. No wonder these people have been like rage quitting. After a plus one, they're like, nah, I'm good. Gonna be Skeledurge now. I'm just gonna go for an Astrug and a Clang Scales. And that's gonna be GG's. They might even cancel battle here. They're actually gonna Terrasize. Why would you Terrasize out of your Ghost typing, though? Kind of confusing, but hey. We're going to go for Clang Scales. And just pick up the one hit KO. My goodness. We can't even do anything else but click. 
<laughs> Deleting moves with combo. Oh. GG's. All right, I got a battle against who you fear. And this is going to be the ultimate challenge for my little combo -O here. Even if they set up Trick Room. I think I like the Orangaroo more, though. Going to combo O. No follow me this time, I think. Bring this guy, and then we'll bring Incineroar. No redirection here. I think getting the Imprison off is much more important. We can go Imprison, we can go for a clanging, uh, Clanger Soul, depending on what they come out with. Because I, I also don't want to take too much damage with um, Como. Como is kind of the win condition here. But if we get up Imprison, even if they get off Trick Room though, like... The instruct could work but we'll see because they have they have really slow pokemon torkoal oh, torkoal really good. okay just gonna instruct instruct boom burst Should I go instruct clang scales or instruct boom burst? Or do I want to go clanger soul, get my boost going? A lot of good decisions here. But I'm thinking just going for this. Oh, they're going to withdraw the Torkoal. Into Hattery. CC is going to come out here. He's going to do a ton of damage. And Clang Scale is not going to be affected by the Hattery. We're going to bring the Lilligan down to Focus Ash, though. And we're going for the Instruct. So this is going to be able to get rid of the Lilligan. We still got our plus one activated. So honestly, I, I'm ready to go for some Boom Burst here. I'm ready to go for some Terra Normal Boom Burst. We should be the fastest thing on the field if they bring out Torkoal again. Even if they bring out Ndidi. So I'm just going to go for the Instruct. Look at that. Instruct, baby. Going hard at it. We're minus two on defense now. But we got rid of the Lilligan now. And if they bring out Torkoal or Ndidi, we're sh we should be able to outspeed here. It's Ndidi, baby. It's Ndidi. I don't see any potential wide guard here. You know what we're going for, baby. Oh, they're going to have a plus one special defense. That's fine. That's fine, I think. But, baby, we're sitting at plus one right now. We're going to go for Instruct again. We're going to go for... Yep, Instruct into Como. We're going to go for Terra Normal Boom Burst. And this is going to delete both of these guys. Two Boom Bursts in one turn, baby. Let's go. We got the game with the Ranguru, I think. Let's not speak too soon. But a Ranguru here is looking to do a ton of damage right now. I mean, not a Ranguru. Como is going to do the damage. Orangaroo is just obstructing. Orchestrating the plays. Follow me. That's fine. Wait. Does the follow me to go to him? No shot. No shot the follow me goes. The instruct goes to the follow me. Does it really? I dislike you. Now expanding force will be able to take me out, right? Oh, they go for tricking. I could just reverse trick him here. And go for protect. Because I'm not sure if a imprisoned goes to protect. I like you guys have, like, I, I don't know. Do, do I try it out? No, because if I try it out, that's a, that's a loose condition. Because <laughs> I'm wondering if, if I go for instruct. Should we try it? 
instruct protect does instruct work after protect like what, what goes next the protect or is it the 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 boom burst it says the user instructs the target to reuse the move last used by the target nah, that's good let's just play it safe trick and protect let's just play it safe you guys gonna have to clear that out for me i'm not sure if if we click protect and we click instruct is it gonna try to go for another protect or is it going for boom burst but this is just a safe play this is just the smartest play to go for we're gonna go for a protect and we're gonna go for a reverse trick room here they're gonna go for helping hand terra they're probably twisted spoon as well so this expanding force is gonna hurt orangaroo should survive here it's resistant a lot of boost but resistant nice orangaroo survives we're fine they're gonna lose some hp as well so that was terra boosted life orb boosted terrain boosted stab boost terror jesus christ my goodness but hey look we got rid of we got rid of the trick room we're gonna go for another boom burst and that's gonna be ggs baby we're gonna instruct and we just beat a beat a hardcore trick hardcore trick room team with orangaroo and como o ggs well there it is ladies and gentlemen our boom burst como o team is complete and <laughs> sashi you were right this thing can just delete everything no problem after one clanger soul this thing did a ton of damage it was insane we didn't get to see much of the dragon pole here but Komo with Clefairy, Sinister, and the Rangaroo, and even Incineroar. Really good support Pokemon for Komo, and just allow that thing to do an insane amount of damage. Even though we only had really two attackers on this team, this team still did fantastic. There was just one game we lost where um, they had a taunt on, on I think it was uh, Talonflame. They taunted my Komo, and that kind of put me down, uh, stopped my little plan a bit. We almost got the comeback, but unfortunately we couldn't. We came short to the comeback. But yeah, overall, Como did fantastic, did a bunch of damage, and it was insane. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please feel free to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.